Okay, guys, welcome to Selenium Interview Questions and Answers Series Two. And here we will talk about some other questions, interview questions, right? So before to start, this is brief about me. I am from mechanical background. I have my Facebook page and YouTube channel. So you can like my Facebook page and subscribe my channel, right? And all your code which I do, it will be in my GitHub locations. So let me start with the series two, which has bunch of questions and answers, right? So these are the questions people will ask you related to uh, weight conditions. People they they ask you what does mean by implicit weight. So when we say implicit weight, the implicit weight is applicable for the entire page. So when we say uh, implicit weight of 60 seconds, which means your driver will wait till 60 seconds to make sure that all elements of the page is loaded. If it is not loaded, you will get timeout. You will get command timeout. So let me show you with the example. Let me uh, make the reference of web driver and object of let me make Firefox driver. So I am just making the object of Firefox driver. Yeah. So now I'll tell you how to write the implicit weight. Sometimes people they will ask you. We can write driver dot manage dot timeout timeouts dot implicit weight when we say implicit weight of 60 seconds and here it comes time unit dot seconds right which means we are saying the driver wait for maximum 60 seconds before timeout right and this is applicable for the entire page this is not applicable for one element then second question should be what does mean by explicit weight in explicit weight we can wait for particular element on the page so let me first write the syntax we call it as a web driver weight web driver weight in this we supply the reference of driver always as the timeout so let's say i will see 60 seconds timeout when i say 60 seconds timeout just create on click on local variable and then we can say wait dot until right and here we can go for expected conditions you use this class expected conditions dot so we will go for element to be clickable or element to be selected both are fine so i will go for element to be selected and here we need to write for which element you want to wait so you have to supply the element so you can write that driver dot find element by dot x path and inside that you can write the x path so how this ex explicit weight will work is let's say you have a situations where uh, you have a page your page get loaded that that would be taken care by timeout now once the page is loaded there is some pop-up or some advertisement which comes on the page which we usually see right when we browse some site some advertisement comes on the site that advertisement comes after five seconds so with this explicit weight we can wait for that advertisement right through implicit weight we cannot achieve that through explicit weight yes we can achieve that like there is some you can say that third party pop up third party advertisement which comes on your page and it takes some time so we can go for explicit weight and this explicit weight will not wait for 60 seconds the moment your element will appear on the page it will go ahead it will not wait for 60 seconds similarly implicit weight the moment your page is loaded it will go ahead your script will start executing it will not wait for 60 seconds now what does mean by pulling interval so pulling interval is you know additional kind of web driver weight where we can say that what is the frequency of pulling in case of explicit weight you know your driver will try to check the element every seconds right but in the pulling interval let me again uh, write the code so we can write here web uh, so let me write a weight one here and then here in this same wave driver weight we can say that pulling every like after how many seconds you want to pull that i say that five seconds so every five seconds i want to check i don't want to second every seconds i want to check for every five seconds so i will go for pulling every and i will write pulling every five seconds so pull pull the element what element we need to be pulled this element need to be pulled the element which we want to pull like this is interview questions people will ask you like they will ask you okay i don't want to check every seconds this guy will check every seconds 
every uh, i think 5 year or uh, some some seconds actually i am not sure but this pulling interval we can supply after how many seconds we want to cross check so let's say check for now again check for another 5 seconds again check for another 5 seconds so here also the moment element will come on the ey your script will go ahead a script will not wait and here i am giving just a blank code here you can write xpath or css or id based on your uh, requirement then people will ask you what is fluent weight so fluent weight again it's a kind of kind of weight right? it works with the pulling interval right there is no difference between uh, this weight and fluent weight only the difference is in the fluent weight it comes by default with the pulling interval so for that what we need to do is i will write weight 3 is equal to new i will write pulling interval new polling interval sorry we have to make the here uh, object of fluent weight i was doing wrong uh, i was doing wrong so we need to make the object of fluent weight here fluent weight and in in this t we need to write the web driver right and here we need to write driver after that we can write here dot dot we can go for timeout with timeout what is the timeout the maximum time you want to wait for so let's say 60 seconds and we can write here time unit dot seconds right dot pulling every so after how many seconds you want to pull right this is the maximum time but after every let's say 3 seconds i want to pull that after every 3 seconds i want to check that so write time unit dot seconds right dot so whenever we will pull we will get some exception right so we will we will say ignoring okay we will say ignoring and here we will write no such element exception because usually uh, no such element exceptions we will get or no such exceptions we will get so no such element exception this one dot class so when we pull what happens is till the that element is not present we will get the exception so we are saying that ignore the exceptions dot dot here we can see that here we can write that dot until right and in the until we can write expected conditions dot visibility of visibility of or we can go for so visibility of element is also fine or you can go for element element to be clickable okay or element to be selected anything is fine so in the element you can write driver dot find element by dot X path and put the curly braces right like this now place mouse over here click on create local variable automatically it will be a boolean so what happens this guy will give you the boolean like element to be selected like whether it is true or false right so this will return you boolean conditions or if you will write here element let's say if you go for element uh, let's say if i'll go for element to be to be selected or if i'll go for element to be clickable right same thing i mean any one method we can use right it's not a hard and fast rule driver dot find element by dot x path and we can write the x path but when we go for this we have to change the type here because we are saying that element to be clickable so this will give you web element and then on this web element we can do dot click right so here we are making sure that after the 60 seconds and pulling every 3 seconds so it will pull the moment element will come this will return as a web element and then on that web element we can perform the driver methods like whatever methods we have we can perform on that similarly there will be one questions oh it's got this also got uh, merged when i did control a control shift f so uh, 
yeah another one this is one of the important questions people will ask you how do you make sure that your page is loaded through javascript guys important questions let me first rearrange i did mistake here so people they will ask you how do you make sure that uh javascript wait right so the javascript wait i will cover here itself when i will talk about javascript ready state both are same there is no difference then people they will ask you do you know about thread dot sleep yes the thread dot sleep is nothing but when you say thread dot sleep which means you are slipping your thread for particular seconds here when you say thread dot sleep for let's say two millis two seconds so your script will sleep for two seconds though the script will be loaded in one second still it will wait for two seconds that is the meaning of thread dot sleep it will not continue like what we have here in this situations it will continue but in the thread dot sleep it will not continue it will wait for entire uh, time out and then only it will continue then we have something called page load timeout so what does mean by page load timeout like implicit wait we have a page load timeout this page load timeout when we do driver dot get right so when we do driver dot get basically we load the page we load the url for that we can supply the maximum time it should not load for forever so we can say that timeout dot page load timeout here we can say that maximum i want to wait for 120 seconds after that i don't want to wait for i don't want to wait for so we can achieve this through page load timeout right we can achieve through this this guy will be applicable for entire page like once the page is loaded it has lot of elements it will wait for till all the elements get loaded but this guy is responsible for your uh, page i mean when you navigate right so to load that page itself this guy is responsible then what does mean by javascript ready state this is very important right so i, I don't remember the uh, entire code but i will tell you this is simple we can write this code it is not tough code we can write this code javascript ready state how to write i will tell you the approach so you should make that object of expected conditions let me not copy this let me write that so that you guys will understand so let me write here the code one second here i will write java script wait is equal to we need to make the object of expected conditions so expected it's an interface right so i am making the anonymous class object right this is the way where uh, we can make the anonymous class object so i am using expected conditions in the t similarly we have to write web driver so if you look at here sorry in the t we have to write a boolean because the ready state will give you the boolean data whether your page is loaded or not so let me write here boolean and then inside that we have to write the logic of apply okay so this guy apply first place mouse over here click on create local variable so it will be like expected conditions of boolean then this apply method will help you to achieve that so we can make the reference of driver so just write here apply control space bar and add return a statement now what we need to write inside to write inside you have to write javascript executor because you are going to run this javascript to make sure that whether your page is loaded or not so in javascript write here return in javascript when you say import javascript click on import javascript executor right because i want to uh, i want to ex execute javascript so my driver should be casted with javascript executor when we cast with javascript executor my driver will get a support to execute the javascript so when we say in the java i mean javascript when we say document dot ready state right whenever we say when equals to complete which means your page is loaded right when you run this which means your page is loaded do uh, let me do control uh, z so let me copy this and let me open a web browser do a right click inspect in the fire path okay and go to the console so in console when you write here 
document dot okay here we are not getting that because uh, otherwise we have one options called document dot ready state we have that in the javascript so let me check once in this so go to the console and here when we write document dot ready state right so document dot ready state hit enter button it is saying that completed because this page is loaded when the page is not loaded you will not get here completed right so we are making sure that if the page is completed it will give you the boolean value if this is done right so after this point if the page is loaded right uh, we will get a boolean data but if the page is not loaded we have to write that same web driver wait conditions right and the same thing i'm writing here also I'm making sure that if the page is not loaded let me write here 4 so every time and let let me write here 60 seconds so every time what I will do I am making the object of web driver wait for maximum 60 seconds and I will check for this whether every second the page is loaded or not whether the radio state is completed or not right so I am checking that if you look at here wait for dot until for these conditions so we are checking for whether it is true or false if it is false right it will again go and check it will again go and check if it is not false if it is not false i mean in the sense of if this is true try will get executed if this is not true again this crawl will happen this guy web driver wait again you know call this method internally it will call this method and it will make sure that you know uh, the page is completed or not this will happen till 60 seconds even after 60 seconds if your page is not complete a state you know what happens it will throw the exceptions and here we are just saying that timeout after this because the page is not loaded after 60 seconds so that's how this is the javascript page load a method where you can make sure that your page is loaded or not through javascript so these are the wait conditions people will ask you in the interview right so these are the questions people will ask you related to wait conditions nobody will cross more than that and if you know this you can answer any questions so thank you guys thank you for watching this series number two we will continue with another series so like my uh, uh, video and subscribe my channel like my facebook page thank you guys